So let us come back and solve this question. So basically, in your um, chapter physical chemistry, say if you are learning one concept, your co numericals will not be based on one concept. They'll try to club the concepts and give you the numerical. So one mark each for all the three. Yes. So three plus two, five marks. That is your three marks numerical and two marks definitions or differences. So let us start solving this numerical. What do they give us? I have to calculate three important things. One would be your molality. Second should be your molarity. Third should be your mole fraction. Done. Let us start. So for what one should I calculate? They have given me to calculate molality, molarity, mole fraction of potassium iodide. Done. So for molarity, when I have to calculate, formula is weight by molecular weight into thousand by weight of solvent isn't it so weight of solvent <coughs> here given in grams so in grams done so here what is this this is the weight of potassium iodide so what is the weight of potassium iodide they've given me <coughs> they said potassium iodide if the density is 20 percent mass by mass okay they've already given me the weight isn't it weight is given as 20 grams okay in aqueous 20 percent aqueous potassium iodide that means potassium iodide is dissolved in uh, water that water also together the solute in the solvent together makes a solution so here i have to consider weight of water also that is your solvent that is 100 minus 20 that is 80 grams this is for your water now i'm ready with the data i can substitute directly which is equal to weight of potassium iodide 20 grams molecular weight is 166 gram per mole into your thousand divided by solvent weight is 80 grams that's it so when i solve this i get an answer of 1.51 molar this is done yeah <coughs> nothing it's easy direct substitution now now problem starts when you are calculating molarity why because here molarity to calculate molarity or for the formula to write we can't directly write because here density is given and so the density is given as well as percentage is given so to be i can use this formula when this condition is given to you directly use this formula it's easy 10 into p into d by gram molecular weight now what is this p p is the percentage d is the density that's it easy directly substitute molecular weight is equal to 10 into percentage of k ki is 20 density given to me is 1.202 divided by gram molecular weight is 166 gram per mole this is <coughs> given as gram liter inverse density is equal to mass by volume isn't it simple now you're going to solve this and you get an answer of 1.45 molar okay i've already written this is your molarity done let us come back to mole fraction for which one should i calculate mole fraction mole fraction of ki any one solute so basically mole fraction formula is okay if i take xa is ki number of moles xb i'm going to take it for water now according to the formula xa is equal to na by na plus nb this is for potassium iodide isn't it i have to find that now what should you do number of moles what is na equal to na is equal to weight by molecular weight nb is equal to weight by molecular weight now substitute this is for potassium iodide and this is for solvent both two components isn't it now what is the weight given to us 20 grams what is the molecular weight of potassium iodide 166 grams when i solve this <coughs> i get an answer of 0.2 now let us write for water what is the weight of water 80 grams first i got isn't it now what is the molecular weight 18 grams when i solve i get an answer of 4.44 now data is ready i can substitute in this so xa i have to find out na i got it as 0.2 done na i got it as 0.2 plus nb i got it as 4.44 
when I solve this whole thing, I get a mole fraction of 0 0.0263. It's a ratio, isn't it? So, not written any units. Done. So, just see. This is your first answer. This is your second answer. This is your third answer.